Hey y'all, come on in. It's a cloudy Wednesday afternoon. As you can see out my window, it's overcast. Norika and I are, I'm on the computer. Norika's playing. What game are you playing today? What you playing? On the Fortnite. He's playing Fortnite. So we got us some snacks. So we're just going to relax. It's just he and what Kareem's upset. He don't like snacks like this. But me and Kareem eating us some cheese, some oranges, some pickles, some crackers. And we got us our uh, favorite I cups. I pickle. Pickles. You like pickles? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, he likes pickles. I'm so excited because he doesn't eat a lot of stuff. But he likes cheeses and stuff. See, he's eating cheese and pickles. And that's his cup of, uh, I put him some apple juice with lots of ice. We like our stuff like auntie with lots of ice and we drink lots of water and juices. So we're going to relax and enjoy, right, Norit? Yeah. Yes. So this is what we do. <laughs> I just love my little grandchildren. You know what? Life is so good to me in terms of how I interact with my grandchildren. Now, this is a special thing just for Norik and I. Uh, Kareem and I have our little thing. We laugh and talk and joke ever since he was a little boy. His daddy, Karan, we had our little thing where we laugh and talk and joke. Tanya, we have our little thing where we, boy, we, we, we really laugh and talk and joke. And Tanz and I, we talk about all kinds of things. She tells me stuff from way back. Sometimes I want to hear it, but we hear it anyway. And I just love the way I can interact with each child. With Tony and I, we get together and we can laugh a lot. Uh, my my son Derek in Atlanta. We talk about life's issues and all just all kinds of things, um, and I treasure that. And I always started when they're little. Even when Dexter, that's uh, Tanya's, that's a grandson. He and I, he was always kind of quiet and somber. And we talked about life's things and you know how family should be because he's a family man, serious type. And McCall and I, we could laugh and talk. He he could talk to me about stuff. And he liked to get uh, his laugh on. And he's philosophical. And we talked about talent and entertainment and stuff. So each one of us have our special thing um, that we just do in life. And my husband and I, God knows, we talked about everything, including the children and all that kind of stuff. And I have friends that I can get on the phone with and talk to. But most of all, I'm, I'm just always so gratified that I have these things in common with my grandchildren. And now that Kylie is two, she and I talk, believe it or not, we talk about food. Now, she's not here today. And I hope to develop that relationship with each one of my children and my grandchildren. And even the boys in um, Atlanta, um, uh, Callan and Derek Jr. And I mean, we just... We just always got together, and we just always talked about any and everything. Now, you know, of course, some children, you know, you don't talk to uh, about a lot of things because they're very closed-minded, or not closed-minded, but closed-mouthed. They don't like to talk about stuff. And, of course, I run into a few brick walls uh, trying to talk to children uh, about certain things that's going on in their life. But this is where you start developing those relationships with your grandchildren and even though now children are so distracted by these uh, electronics but we still over cheese and crackers and pickles and, and oranges these are little things that they'll always 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 remember um, that they did with grandma so I love this time again this is my I'm re this is my rest time I'm putting away my black history stuff so I'm sort of on my little break from that, so we're just sitting in the kitchen watching a little TV, and we're not doing a lot of talking. We're just enjoying each other's company over our little snack time. And when I asked him, I said, no, Rick, is it snack time? He said, yeah, Grandma, it's snack time. So just wanted to chime in with y'all and just, just tell you, treasure the time that you have to spend with your little ones. Just because they're a little like this doesn't mean that you can't do little special, create little special vignettes and little things. Now, his favorite thing now, since I got these 10 cups, and I know they keep stuff extremely cold. I have um, I think I gave Tanya, I think I may have given her two of them. I gave Tansy one. Now, Narik has his own, um, and, and uh, you know, of course, I drink out of my own. But this these cups here, let me tell you, invest in a set of them. They were like, if you get them at regular price, 
I think they're 20. But if you get them on sale at Sam's Club, you can get them for 14. Now, they keep your cold drinks extremely cold or your hot drinks extremely hot. And at night, because I like bed, water by the bed, I fill my cup with ice and water and it stays icy until the next day. So these are just little special things that uh, Norik and I do. Uh, the, boy, the older boys, you know what they like to do? If they could find those mason jars, and they got that behind my husband, they like those mason jars. So they'll take a pickle jar, and I'll clean up one or two to keep around here for them. They like to drink that stuff out of those jars. They don't like glasses. They don't like these kind of cups. So, anywho, I just thought I'd do this because I'm sitting down here doing much of nothing, trying to make myself sit still for a couple of hours. I'm uh, going through my new computer that Tanya got me for my birthday. Nice HP computer. Um, I'm getting becoming acquainted with it. I haven't quite uh, set it up yet to what I want to do with it. But nonetheless, I'm getting acquainted with it. Um, learning all the things that it can do. Um, let me see. There's my keyboard. It has all the things. Uh, now I don't have an excuse not to get this book done so i'm gonna get it done so to god be the glory uh for my computer i prayed about getting a new one before i knew it tanya surprised me on my birthday after we got back from cali so she, i tell you tanya's my girl when it comes to stuff like that she always um understands and knows the importance of things in general She's the one child that's got my whole spirit, I'm telling you. my ch Each one of my children got a piece of me or my character, my personality. But I think Tanya by far and by large has um, a, a big chunk of me. And sometimes I think to a flaw. I tell her that sometimes. Girl, Peggy Jr. But that's okay. We're good, we're good people. Uh, that's why we can do so many things and roll so deep with each other when it comes to just doing things in life but all of my kids I get along well with them I don't have one child that I can't sit down and have a meal with call over and tell them off when I need to talk to them about things and just in general I uh, have a real good time with my children and my family and like I said me and this little one here we've been sitting here for about two hours now uh watching tv we've talked about a few things um he laughs, and, you know, I applaud him when he wins his little game, and we're just sort of sitting here enjoying each other. So, Dorik, you want to say bye to the cameras? Want to say bye, people? Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye, people. <laughs> and he's just the sweetest little thing. So, anyway, that was just a little sidebar that I wanted to share with uh, this, me and Dorik. Okay, so until I find something else to do, because... I never get bored. I always find stuff to do. So until I decide to do something else before I cook this evening, I think I'm going to do some t big old pan of just uh, turkey tacos. But I'll tune in with you if that's what I decide to do. Until I do, I'm going to say toodaloo. Love you guys. Keep those prayers going up now, even if you're sitting down relaxing. Toodaloo.